three, two, one. What is up, guys? This is the Worship Leader Podcast. 22. 2022, 2022, not 2021, but 2022. Uh, it's been a long time, probably about three weeks to a month since yeah, we uploaded. Right. Uh, so we didn't really schedule for this break, but it just kind of organic. Like it did. It just, it just kind of happened. <laughs> Holidays. Holidays. Yeah, Literally. you got New Year's. You it got became Christmas. the black hole. Became, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sucking up all of the time. None of it getting out. Yeah. Uh, so it it's been it's been quite a while um, since actually we saw each other. We saw each other for the first time in a few weeks, probably like like yesterday, yesterday or something like, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. So it oh wait, was, no Wednesday. Wednesday. It was Wednesday. I yeah. saw you Wednesday. That's yeah. right. Uh, so outside of uh, a few texts, you know, we hadn't even we hadn't even we've been with family and and whatnot and the whole deal. So uh, I guess we'll just like always we'll kind of get caught up. Uh, so how was how was Christmas? It was good. I we did Christmas with my parents and then her parents, which is like a two state trip, not just two city trip. So it was like yeah, lots of road, lots of miles, lots of. Just everything, <laughs> just so, everything. So was it? So how long did how long did y'all stay each? Um, let's each? see. We did about three and a half with my parents. Three and a half days, not hours. Three and a half days <laughs> oh, with we my drove parents. All the way to Texas. <laughs> three and a half. Miles. Like, well, bye. <laughs> 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 oh my god, it'd be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> we did three and a half days with my parents, and then. Came back home. My kids had to work a few days because you know school life, whatever. Yeah. And then four days, I think, with her parents. If I'm getting my times right, somewhere in so that it's ballpark. About even. Mm -hmm. About even. Basically, yeah, that, that, that's cool. Uh, so the two different states. How how worn out were y'all after all of that? Honestly, I was fine until the next day. I think it's just like. <laughs> When I went back to work, it was just like I didn't, I didn't have time to recover from my vacation. So it was just kind of like it was just a lot, and I think I'm still like trying to bounce back oh, from yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so it was just like, ah. so uh, I guess for for me it was the same. But my parents and my wife's parents live a lot closer. It's like mm -hmm. a, it's like a forty five minute to an hour difference between oh. between the two between their two houses Sounds so nice and so what we did was uh we we spent uh we kind of like rotate them so one christmas we'll spend the christmas day with my parents and then uh like thanksgiving and, and christmas either or or together just whatever whatever we do for that year we do the opposite for the next year mm -hmm. uh, and so this year we uh we spent christmas with my parents we spent christmas eve with trisha's family um and uh a lot of gifts a ton of gifts uh times two love that uh and it's it's great it's <clears throat> great uh public service announcement public service announcement gifts we get a lot of gifts. Like a lot. If you think about like, uh, I guess this is not a perfect public service announcement, but we get a like here in America. I guess we don't realize how many gifts we get. Like we I, give a lot of gifts. It's, it's, it's like it's a lot. It's almost unnecessary. Like a lot. <laughs> and I'm not speaking. I'm not speaking of my family. I just I just think in general, like culture wise. Uh, culture, yeah, culture wise, we we. We do a lot as Americans. We give Everybody a lot of gifts. Everybody is Santa Claus. I guess, <laughs> I guess it's kind of pushed on us, though, with the whole, like... I think so. It's, it's like there's this expectation in the air of just, like, you have to get this many gifts for this many people. And it has and the gifts can't be, like, Dollar Tree gifts. They have to be yeah. this caliber of gifts. Yeah. Like, Christmas time is the time that you go buy a car <laughs> for someone else. <laughs> like, and it's like... That's Christmas. Yeah, it's it's... It's crazy, but I mean, I enjoy it. I, I will, I will say, I enjoy it. I like Christmas. Mm. Uh, <laughs> love it. I don't enjoy picking up all of the toys. Yeah, all of the time. Uh, yeah, some Christmas some of them need to, Some of them are gonna disappear. <laughs> Not gonna lie, they are. Something something ain't gonna make it probably to the end of January. <laughs> so, 
Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, they they we'll see. they forget about. They've already forgotten about over half, over half of the things that they've gotten in in this two three week span, two week span, or how long? Doesn't take them span. long. It don't, no, it doesn't take them long. And so, well, what we did was like we spent Christmas with my family, um, Christmas Eve with Trisha's family, and it was fun. Like, but I um I uh for some reason. Christmas Eve, I did not eat a whole lot that day. For some oh. reason, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know. Prior to, we were meeting. It was Christmas with my, with my, uh, my, uh, with Trisha's family, mm-hmm. uh, and so we were, we were eating for like a, a, a late lunch or something like that. And mm-hmm. before, I didn't eat. And then the day before, oh, I know what I was doing. I was editing videos for the past few days for that Christmas, those Christmas videos. Oh, because I, I, I was trying to figure. Like, I was just like, "This is this is the time." Yeah, this is this the is time our moment. This is the <laughs> moment to eat. And so I was up until like two and three in the morning, the two nights before doing that. So I was exhausted, and then I wasn't like eating a ton those days. And then when I woke up, I was kind of feeling it a little bit, and um, I was waiting to eat, so I didn't eat breakfast. And so, you know, when you don't eat for mm-hmm. a while, you kind of get it just queasy d- feeling. It just doesn't, at that point, it's just. Uh. <laughs> and so and so I was like, oh, I'm tired. I'm, I'm kind of queasy, you know. And, and I got there, and I started to get nauseous. And so I figure, okay, I'm getting sick. I don't want to eat while I'm sick because it's I figured like I would. Domino I figured it would, it would come up. And so I didn't eat all day. It got, it got kind of bad, and I went and laid down. And it did, still didn't get better. I actually laid on the on the van. I laid on the floor in the van on the way home, like I was nauseous. And Trisha kept telling me, "Maybe you need to eat something." I was like, "No, I'm not gonna eat. I'm nauseous. I'm <laughs> just gonna. Nah. I'm just gonna throw it up. Why? You know why I eat?" And so I got home and I was like, "Well, let me eat something. Ate something. Felt better in like 15, 20 minutes." I was like, "I spent the whole day." St- Thinking I was sick and it was missed just opportunity. Yeah, missed opportunity. <laughs> missed and opportunity. then uh, oh man, and and um, Jared, which is Trisha's uh, brother, he did like he does like uh, gravy, mm-hmm. rice and gravy, and then he gets like the, the uh, all this. He goes and and uh, goes to the butcher and gets the sausage and all that. I'm t- it it's mm-hmm. always really really good, and I hate that I that I missed out on it. Well, I did eat the plate, but I hate that I missed out on the on the fresh fresh. Of the, of the <laughs> so, but anyway, I spent <laughs> that thinking I was sick and I wasn't. So it's crazy, it's it's super crazy. Oh my uh, gosh! And so I guess that was my Christmas. That that was, and my Christmas was great. We we spent Christmas at my parents, and I did eat a bunch there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm glad you got you I got one up. of them. I <laughs> caught up. I got one of them. <laughs> and so, um, and so that was that was that was Christmas for uh, that was Christmas for me. It was good. The kids got a whole lot of stuff. So I guess we we, we did pretty good. And and then in the, into New Year's, uh, New Year's was really good too. So we spent. Uh, I think we did New Year's. I think we may have split the day. I think mm-hmm. like split the day at I our parents. I, I think so. I, I don't know my memories. My memory's bad. We just say I just know I was there. But on to worship leading, uh, because that's why he came here, right? That's right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, I, I think like this year you mentioned, which is which is really really good. We sometimes on topics, you know, we we tend to procrastinate. I think a little bit. A lot. As a collective, <laughs> as a collective here on the Worship Leader Podcast, and it's not because I don't think it's because we procrastinate. I think it's because, you know, ideas get sparse, sparse. Which I did meet with. Shout out to Trey, Trey Druid, and he gave. Thank me, you, Trey. He gave, he gave me a ton of feedback and some ideas that we will be incorporating yes. into the Worship Leader Podcast. So thank you for your feedback. We will be incorporating, uh, incorporating the things, but but um, but like I was saying, uh, we procrastinate a little bit, and so we got here, and we we both had kind of like thought of a few little things, mm-hmm. and you mentioned you you were saying like, uh, well, it's the new year, let's kind of talk about like you know getting a direction and and casting vision and and all of that, and I was like, yeah, that's a great idea. So 
we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about um, you know, as a as a um worship team and as a leader or as as a vital part on the team or as someone that casts vision, um, like what does that mean? How what does what does that mean and how was that done? I guess I guess kind of what we what we will talk about. So mm-hmm. I guess to me casting vision would be uh would be directly tied in or do you have something you want to say for I know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> like Honestly, I can I talk don't know what I'm forever. gonna say yet. Okay, you so know I'll what? Just, you just I'll I'll just keep talking <laughs> then and you just stop this train whenever. So I I think that casting vision is, uh, first of all, comes directly from God. Like it, yes. it, it there needs are to. Some, yeah, <laughs> it, it needs, needs to. to. <laughs> it needs to. There, now we can we can we can feel it can be filled with a lot of things, and you can say a lot of and hit a lot of the points. But if it's gonna be a vision that gets you in the direction that you should be going spiritually, then it should come from God to to leaders and to the team uh, and out to the team um and so i think it's vital and it's very important it's vital that that it comes from god and that and that we as people that cast vision uh uh to who whomever it may be that we first get that from God that we're praying about, you know, what what's the vision that God has for the department or for the the praise team or for mm-hmm. The, the singers for the band for uh, whatever whatever team you're you're leading so I think it should always come from God and another thing I think personally I think it should always be this is one of those practical things mm-hmm. I think it should always be it should always be inspirational energetic and uh, enthusiastic yeah e- even if it's even if it's a you can be enthusiastic and energetic and not be and be serious i guess yeah. so I, I think for the human part for the human part i think we need to i think we need cuz i think people and brains and the way we work how we i think we need enthusiasm and we need to look at something like it's fresh and to kind of get our brains into the idea and mm-hmm. then to follow through so I, I think when casting vision, whatever that vision is uh, that comes from God, I, we can't tell you what the vision is. Uh, whatever that vision is that 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 comes from God, I think it should, I think it should, it should be enthusiastic. It should be exciting, but maybe more exciting than enthusiastic. It should be exciting. It should be something that your team can grab a hold of and really get behind and and want to do. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I I think yeah. I think. Honestly, I agree with that. Just because it's like if you your attitude about your vision basically is gonna kind of sort of set the tone for how other people are going to feel about it. Right. So if you're like lackluster, <laughs> look at that. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know where that word came from. <laughs> hey, it was the right word. That's what's important. <laughs> It was the right word. That's he pulled. <laughs> Maybe I did learn something. Uh, <laughs> if it's like lackluster or dull, if you're just just kind of like, yeah, this is what we're gonna do and whatever, then it's just kind of like, oh, okay, like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't know how to take this. That's, that's, that's exactly what. Okay, so that's what we. Do. Okay, okay, all right, okay, okay, that's what we do. Cool. All right. Super exciting. <laughs> so great. We had that talk. Um, <laughs> but it's like having having that because it's uh it. I think it's really important to not only be inspired, but be inspirational yeah. with what you're bringing. That's good. Because it's just like you are wanting people to buy into what's going on. Right. Because if they're not buying in later on down the line, that's just going to be complicated. It, it, <laughs> it will. And it'll, it, it will be, it will be, um, well, I sw- had a train of thought switch just then. <laughs> real time, people, real time. So, uh, like you said, enthusiastic, and it, there will be a train wreck down down the way. So, one of the things I was just thinking mm-hmm. was uh, like enthusiasm gets you gets you started, mm-hmm. but also once you get started, just as people, after a while, we begin to like 
fly high, and then just over time, it just, yeah, that's true. Things begin to settle. So there needs to, for our vision, there needs like there needs to be a mission which gets you to the vision. Because mm-hmm. if you just have the vision, which is the broad thing, uh, it needs to be broke down, uh, um, broken, broke, whichever the word is. You need to break so. it down. There we go. Because <laughs> I was sitting here trying to figure it out. Uh. <laughs> you need to break it down and and not only have a vision, but have a mission that gets the vision going. Mm-hmm. Because a vision and woo, that's only going to last so long if you tell somebody, we're going to go higher in God this year. We're going to increase, blah, blah. And after a while, after the excitement, where it's I'm like, you know what? <laughs> What does that mean? Like, Literally, go higher in God. But what what, what does that mean? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? What, 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 is what that? are we doing here? <laughs> no. Everybody walking. Everybody looking around. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's like honestly, that's a good point yeah. though, because it's just like buzzwords only buzz for so long. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, right. And so there there needs to be a mission. So that's where the work and the practicality comes in, like working backwards, like so. Going higher in God, how does that, maybe we meet once a week for a prayer mm-hmm. for an an hour or, or however, you know, break bread and pray uh, for an hour. And that, that gets community. I always like to break. I love food. So anytime there's something. It's biblical. It's, 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 <laughs> it's biblical. It's biblical. It's <laughs> true, true words were never spoken. It's biblical. Breaking bread is <laughs> You hear that, all you personal trainers and all That's that it. out there? Breaking bread. The apostles did the it, apostles so we can do it, it They did it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, so, yeah. Oh uh, so, yeah, we have, to, uh, we have to make that mission to, to get us to the, to the vision. And I would, also, I would also say, you know, make the mission enthusiastic, too. Mm-hmm. Like the, the steps to get us to the vision, breaking bread, you know. Prayer, prayer, uh, s- studying the word or whatever, whatever it is. Uh, Even having a team fast day. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I've seen a lot of people yeah. do that, and I think that helps. Right. You yeah. know, yeah, solidarity and yeah, something. Right. Yeah, exactly. So getting that that mission toward the um, toward the vision, I think is well, I know is vital because we'll fly high on that vision, but after a while, just. Mm-hmm. Ten times out of ten, that plane's gonna land. So we have to have we have to have the steps, the mission to get us us to the vision. That's and, true. And it, so, yeah, well, ahead. I was just gonna say, and maybe even just to be realistic, because it's for the year and not just for the month. Maybe even like you said, like break it down to okay, from here to here, this is this is our goal, and then from here to here, this is our goal. Just so yeah, it's like that's a really good idea. Because if it's just like, oh, we want to do this, and you meet it by March, now you have like <laughs> nine other months of yeah, emptiness like, going so y'all, on. We just gonna stay here for nine months, literally. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's just like there's got to be like that having like a built-in system, even if you don't meet it. Like just being able to just have something in place, so it's just like okay, now that we've reached here, this is the next destination, yeah. and so it's just like there's always that feeling of moving forward, and I know like that there's process and timing and all this other stuff, but it's it gets really discouraging, yeah, a hundred percent of the time when you feel like you have no forward momentum, right? It, and yes. as a group. <laughs> it's even more discouraging because then it's just like, dang, we're just terrible. <laughs> like, we can't do nothing. <laughs> got, a, got a group chat going on that you're not in. Everybody literally. Like, what, what we do, what is Didn't he, he say doing? we were doing this this year? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, and it's June and we ain't even halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> got memes out with your face yeah. in them. <laughs> Don't know about it at all. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> That's funny. These things happen. <laughs> they do. These they things do. happen. <laughs> they do. <laughs> so it's like I don't know. I I feel like on an on a practical sense, just at least even just having that thing, and you don't necessarily have to be like by March we are here, because yeah. then like sometimes you run the risk of just like if you're not there by March, everybody's just like okay, so yeah, <laughs> ball dropped. We missed that one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and that's I like what you said about the Ford momentum. I um, uh, and that's a screensaver. Let me see. Let me make sure. 
that we're still recording. Yeah, we're still Praise recording, God. so we're good. <laughs> that screensaver popped up. That made me literally think. my first time seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that made me think that we stopped recording. I was like, was all of this for nothing? No. <laughs> well, uh. <laughs> twenty minutes in and nothing <laughs> gone. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what was I saying? Before um, I was um, really um, by the screensaver, <laughs> was it uh, breaking it down, being practical? Um, oh yeah. Um, uh, bah, 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 bum. Oh yeah I don't know if this was what I was thinking But it's what I'm thinking now So <laughs> I'm gonna roll with it uh, I was listening to To this um, Actually it's something on How to become a better person Or, or mm-hmm. how to set good habits And they were saying that the uh, That the forward The forward momentum and the forward progress Is way more important than meeting the goals and a lot of people are goal oriented and think we have to meet these goals but eventually if you're moving forward you will make it to the goal but the the forward process and this pings off what you were saying about you know be doing something uh the forward progress is very important in getting to that that vision and those missions uh even if it's not even if you're behind on the on the where you thought you would be that forward progress and if you have to do that as a morale boost for the team okay i know we're not where we Mm -hmm. where we said we would be but look back where we started at the beginning of the year we are moving forward honestly i think that's good just celebrating that stuff because it just kind of like you said like it's that morale boost of just like hey we're actually doing something everybody's just like oh wait that's (laughs) that's really good that's that's the enthusiasm and the Mm -hmm. uh energetic way of doing it celebrating those those Progress is like the progress. That's a now really we're not saying you got to plan a party every right. three months or something right. like that. That's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> that is expensive. Unless you want to do that, go for it. Hey, yeah, go for you. it if you want to do it. <laughs> yeah, but I think I think that's good. Like celebrating that. Like that is that is really that's a really good idea. Um, and I, I um I was. I, my brain's just all over the place today. I don't know. We hadn't done this in a while, so I guess I guess the <laughs> rust has the rust has settled in. But yeah, uh, I think that's that's very important that that forward progress, and also with uh, with setting vision and setting goals and getting there. I think that uh, one of the things that that we should take into consideration is you have a bunch of different people on your team, uh, mm-hmm. and different people move at different pastes and mm-hmm. and sometimes you have to uh sometimes sometimes people have to be pushed out of their comfort zone to get to that vision because you might have some you the the flow may be going to where it's all right we're we're going at five miles an hour well you may mm-hmm. have some people that are that are three miles an hour i think it's okay to to give a little leeway but i think sometimes some people need to be mm-hmm. pushed a little bit to get to that to get to that vision in those different areas and honestly i feel like that helps your team as a whole be- as just as far as like stretching because the yeah. thing is like at the end of the day as the team as the team is progressing towards goals the people on that team should be there there should be something being added along the way yeah. even if it's just experience but there should be some form of stretching that's right happening. yeah yeah definitely and that's that's gro- that's how we grow the most mm-hmm. i think about it like the, the uh the times that i've grown the most in anything uh especially worship leading is when i've been stretched beyond my comfort zone beyond something that i was comfortable doing mm-hmm. and you get there and you're like you know what i actually can i didn't think i could do this mm-hmm. but i I'm capable of it. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's amazing how we're capable of a lot more than we give ourselves credit for as people, um, just just as individuals. And so That's I think true. stretching is growth is stretching. Growth is stretching. So it's it's always a good idea to kind of stretch your team a little bit and uh, and to uh, and to encourage also. Like if 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 you have the weekly prayers or whatever, and somebody's not showing up. I don't think it's a good idea to kind of call them out and whatever. I think it's a good idea to encourage them into it personally. Thank you, everybody, um, for being here. But or, um, <laughs> he who shall not be named. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I, honestly, that's a good point too. Where it's just like knowing when to address. I guess knowing when and how to address the non-participatory members. Yeah. Right. Right. And and I've found that usually all it takes is checking in on somebody. Yeah. Uh, usually, if you check in on somebody. Let them know, you know, thinking about you, blah blah blah, missed you. Then that's enough. That's enough to to get them there. And if it's not enough to get them there, it's enough to open up a conversation to why they're not going. Yeah. And address that, you know. And also maybe use that as an opportunity to be open to feedback yeah, or right. constructive constructive Con- criticism. Constructive. We need to emphasize <laughs> the constructive um, <laughs> criticism. <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes maybe the goal or the vision someone has a different different perspective that can help make everybody more successful they just maybe just don't feel like it's an environment that they can sh- safely share that or maybe they just don't feel like well maybe it's because I'm just not fitting or something like you know it's it could be a number of reasons but maybe that could be the opportunity they could have the missing piece to what you need to make make it better right exactly I- exactly and that's why we're open to what is it uh constructive constructive criticism, criticism. it was escaping my brain <laughs> <laughs> uh, constructive, constructive. <laughs> <laughs> and um another thing like if let's just say somebody was since nobody really gives a whole lot of feedback let's just say let's just say yeah, I, I, I kind of threw a little shade. Put that plug it. in there. <laughs> I, I threw a little shade to everybody but Trey. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's great. That's great. <laughs> but uh, let's just say, uh, you know, um, somebody was at a smaller church, mm-hmm. and they were like, "Okay, so I get what you're saying, but I don't have a big support group. Like, mm-hmm. it's me." In me, <laughs> in like, me, yeah, it's me and me. I lead, I lead worship. I do this, and I have one other person sometimes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would say to that person is, even if there's not someone particularly on your team uh, or in your department or in on music. I would say get with somebody and celebrate the wins. Like, mm-hmm. celebrate the progress. That is true. Like, celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Honestly, if, I feel like that's more important when you're in those situations yeah. where it's just you. Yeah. It's, you almost need more so yeah. to celebrate the victories. Right. And celebrate it with someone else. Exactly. Just to keep it, keep it, keep, keep it, it up. Yeah, keep it up, keep it fresh. And it's also a memorial, like... <laughs> You remember, you'll remember, like sometimes you forget the progress, but you'll remember, okay, we did this be- mm-hmm. because of this. And it takes you back to that memorial, like, wow, I really am gaining a little ground here. Mm-hmm. So I would say if it's if to any smaller churches or, or, or smaller, um, smaller ministries, like I would say celebrating the, the momentum, celebrating the progress, is very important and if mm-hmm. there's no one else if you're the only one then find another member of the church get find the pastor a, a pastor <laughs> of the church and, and tell them look i need this like mm-hmm. I, I need this I, I need to we don't have to do this great grand thing but my humanness needs to make these memorials so that i can look back and i can be like okay i am moving forward mm-hmm. so that would be my advice to 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 someone that may be going through that. Anything you like to add or you just honestly, agree? Honestly, that's or? really good because honestly, I hadn't even thought about that, but that's that's a really good point just because like discouragement happens very subtly and yes. that is a great way just to kind of circumvent that and yeah. keep you from slipping into it without even realizing it. Yeah, exactly. And um, if somebody was, um, let's just say, I'm just throwing out scenarios now. So I threw that one out. Let's just throw out another one. Uh, let's just say someone's at a huge church and they feel maybe like, they feel like maybe, um, maybe like, okay, I see the vision, 
I see the vision, but I don't feel like a, I'm mm-hmm. a part because mm-hmm. everything is is so big. This is this is probably, and I've thought about this, and this would probably be what I would say to that uh, is that there a lot of the time when things are big and things are huge and and it's a machine for lack of a better word um a lot of the times when there when there needs to be smaller things a lot of times we as individuals have to have that vision and get something started uh that mm-hmm. i found and go that to the, the leadership truth. and be like okay this is the issue i feel like this is what's going on do you mind if I started a smaller group amongst this group in order to achieve this result? Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think that I think that's a good way of of maybe I'm trying to g- gather the words, not feeling overshadowed in the vision, like yeah. because the vision some, in in larger spaces sometimes the vision can be huge, and the and the bigger counterparts can be moving, and some of the smaller. Uh, I say counterparts. I don't. I, I get what you mean. Though, where it's to, just I'm like you. Mean, where it's just like it's leadership and leadership is yeah, doing this, but yeah. then like you're just like, well, I'm not leadership and I'm not really yeah. doing anything. Like, right. <laughs> and I don't. When I say bigger, I don't mean more important. I just no, mean yeah. more prominent. Like yeah, like making the, decisions. The ones, and, the the people that you are probably gonna see more often. Right. Exactly. Just yeah. Doing. Yeah. Let, let me stop using bigger. What's a better <laughs> word for that? Uh, I, I don't. Uh. Uh. More. I, uh, um, there's a word for it. There's a word it for it. That word. That one. <laughs> I'll yes. just use bigger because I don't have a better word. Okay. So the, <laughs> so uh, uh, bigger. Not more important, but just more leadery. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. That I made up more a word. leadership. I made up a word. <laughs> more leadery. <laughs> um. So I, I would think that that would that would help. Uh. Because that is something that um that is something that I've 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 kind of seen and I've been seeing uh in in different areas and different mm-hmm. things and 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 I've I've come across that a couple of times and and know that you know that that kind of that kind of helps and that kind of works. Honestly, uh, I'm glad you brought that up too, because I and I don't know I had something that kind of just little and then I lost it and then it came back um, <laughs> but like for the person for the person that's not necessarily setting the vision and you're just trying to figure out how like what what is what does that even look like for me to have a place in it because like I I get I get I guess I can say like I get that where it's just like I get the vision but like what does that even mean for me I think that's that's that that's the time when you need to start doing some soul searching and really like praying. I mean, first first of all, check your motives with that because sometimes that can come from a not so good place. Yeah, but yeah. I mean like you you checked your motives, you know you're you're coming at it from like a good heart. Um pray about it and see what it is like what what's going on with that because maybe god is trying to stir you to do something like you said with the whole like start like a little cluster here of doing something like songwriting or a cluster here where your youth group doesn't have like a set like music team or something like that or it's it you know there's something there but it needs to grow or something like that like maybe you are that person that's supposed to start whatever yeah and one thing that i've that i've kind of i guess gathered just from life in general this is outside of this is just life in general that a lot of people that lead or own own things or or run things not lead or own Mm -hmm. but yeah lead and run things uh not necessarily own but lead and run things they they um they have a ton of things uh, that they're considering and a ton of things that they're doing and they have no problem with with something else being done if it's not another thing that they yeah. have to do because they're already full. That's so true. if 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 they were approached and said uh um 
how about we do this? They were like, that's a great idea as long as I don't have to do it. They may not say that. But, I mean, like, that's that's the truth because it's just like they already have, like, a million other things going on. And so then – here you go with your bright idea, but then you don't want to do anything. Right. So it's exactly. like <laughs> exactly, it's like that's a great idea if you're doing it. <laughs> like, and it's just like so. I mean, honestly, like if you are gonna come like that, pray about it, and then plan it. Yeah, exactly. Put a plan together. Have a yeah. skeleton. Have something to look at. Have something to talk right. about. Even if it's just, hey, this is the idea, and this is what I was thinking on a practical sense. So then they can they can put their hands on it. They can chew on it. They can figure out how it fits into the overall picture. Yes. Because if you just say, I have this idea, then you're just awkwardly sitting in someone's yeah, office. Yeah, I have this idea. And so, like, okay. okay. <laughs> like, okay that's not, and, and probably in their, hair, their head, they're like, okay, I'm, there's no way I'm going to be able to like come up with everything to make this happen. Literally. That's a great idea. They'll be like, that's a great idea. They'll awesome. Take it, put it in the back of that filing cabinet. And you will never see it again. <laughs> You'll never see it again. <laughs> like, <laughs> so it's just like, be, um, I mean, like, plan it. Make it practical. Do, do, don't just, don't just have an idea, say it, harp about it, get mad, get discouraged because nothing happens with yeah. it. Like, understand that your leadership has other stuff going. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, probably a ton of other. And if this doesn't, that is something that doesn't matter what size your church is. If it's a literally. small church, then you got one person doing a million things. <laughs> it's almost worse when it's a smaller church because yeah, it's just it like is. they have right. They have responsibilities, yeah. and then they have a family. Yeah, like. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> and if it's a large church, you have ten people doing a billion things, and and while trying and to coordinate always, with each other, it's like. always that that. 80 20 that 20 p 20 percent doing 80 percent of the the Mm -hmm. load you know so it's always no matter what size it is you got that that ratio and sometimes even worse Mm -hmm. in smaller churches it's even worse than than the 20 doing the 80 Mm -hmm. so yeah definitely if if like like josh said pray about it like if there's if there's vision and you see the vision but you're not quite you don't know so how do i fit into this vision how does this vision you know, I see it and I know it, but I don't mm-hmm. really know how I fit. Like, and that's a legitimate concern. If mm-hmm. if there's been a vision cast for you, and you're like, so I I see it, but I don't know how I fit. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that's very legitimate, and I think it's very, I think it's it's very important for us to know how we fit in order to catch the vision. Because yeah. honestly, it's like it's almost intimidating sometimes. Whenever like your leader, whether it be whether it be like a pastor or a leadership team or something like that, whenever they say, "Hey, this is our this is what we are foreseeing could happen by the end of the year," then it's just kind of like, "Okay, that's great. What does that mean about me?" And I know that sounds selfish, but on a practical sense of just yeah. like how how am I supposed to get involved with that? Yeah. And I guess this is this is kind of like a two sides of the coin type thing of right. just like knowing knowing how you can get involved and then leaders letting people know that this is a space where you can get involved this is not just me telling you what i'm about exactly. to put on my vision board in my office exactly. like, exactly. That's, that's like good. That's, it's a two-sided coin that's yeah. great. i'm glad you brought that up that's that's very very good like for for the leaders like we cast vision and 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 uh and have the mission, but what does that mean to the people? Like, <laughs> how how is that practically? How is that like? How does that work? How does that fit? So it's a, definitely a, a double sided coin. Yeah, because it's just like, for example, like let's say you get up and you're just like, I'm gonna put out six albums this year. That is so good for you. <laughs> what does that mean for me? Yeah, <laughs> right. Are exactly. you asking for a financial seed? <laughs> like, why am I here for this? <laughs> like. <laughs> Like that's that's, that's, that's just funny. if we're just gonna be real. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. That that is am I singing backup? Like <laughs> that's so funny. And there's some stuff I want to say. I'm not gonna say it though. <laughs> that's funny. That Cause is, it's just like because I mean like that's lit- that's really how people will think yeah, about yeah. it because they might not always vocalize, but in yeah. the back and sometimes in the front of their mind and sometimes on their face they're yeah. gonna say so. <laughs> <laughs> And you're pointy. <laughs> I will. I will be. Th- I will throw you a party when you get there. But <laughs> in the meantime, what am I doing? <laughs> like right, exactly. 
exactly. Is this you, me, telling me I need to pack my bags? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> so, I mean, just... I, <laughs> like, the, vi- the, the vision, like, I think with, with vision, uh, what we've... What what we've I guess I we'll just oh, kind of start to recap the screen back on back on the screen. Let's just let's just check this out. I'm I might have to take this screensaver off. Okay, we're still good. Uh, so back on the vision, I guess mm-hmm. we can kind of recap. Um, uh, and before we recap, speaking of recap, uh, you might need to recap your new. Oh, Gianna, that. pure Gianna. If you need to re up <laughs> on your pure I Gianna, did not see that coming. If that's not what you thought I was talking about. I did not see that oh, coming. Your pure Gianna. Oh my uh, God. Sometimes you need to re up and recap <laughs> that. So if you do, if you've ordered some, uh, and oh you need to recap gosh. on it, uh, go check out Pure Gianna's yes. Facebook. Yes. It is the pure. It is the. All natural. It yes. is the great products for your skin and all of your moisturizing needs. Yes. Go check them out on Facebook. You won't be dry. You won't be dry. <laughs> you won't be dry. I can attest to it. It's it's a good product. It really is. Um, and so, back from the commercial break. Back to I guess we'll recap this. Uh, what we've learned about casting vision <laughs> is that vision needs to come from God. Yes. Most First important, the vision of where you're headed. God, Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus needs to be at the wheel. <laughs> uh, uh, he needs to be at the wheel. So we, we need to be seeking God about the vision, what his vision for his people, not our people as leaders, yes. his people, what his vision for his people is. And when we when we cast that vision, you know, God, God gives us the vision, but I think he expects us to to. Write the vision, make it plain. Yes, you know? like, yes, like we yes, need to, that. We need that. to. We need to put that vision into work. So we need to. We need to have some mission, a couple of mission statements of things that we're gonna do to get mm-hmm. us to that vision, and make it practical. Like, like give people opportunities to do things to funnel into that vision, to yep. funnel into the mission that funnels into the vision. Inclusive, so it's all, not exclusive. Uh, right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And. And the other side of the coin, if you're feeling, if you're feeling like I don't know where this fits, and no one's including into the vision, maybe search for, search for a way to include into the vision. Get something together and go to the, and present it. Maybe mm-hmm. this is what I think, and it may not be the timing. It may not be whatever. If that's not it, this is a whole nother little branch off. If now's not the time, and you're told now's not the time. One good thing about it is it'll be filed, and whoever the leader mm-hmm. is, okay, this person is somebody that's serious about it. Mm-hmm. And when there is something, you're going to be the first person they come yes. to. And you I know it be- feels like it doesn't. I know sometimes when you hear not right now, it feels like you're just being pushed out of the way. But again, like the leaders have a lot going on, and they, they are – frequently constantly having the big picture in front of or at least they should have the big picture in front of their face and so they understand if we do this right now this will destroy everything (laughs) this will destroy everything i didn't even think about that that's that's really good that's really good and when it is time you'll be the first person yes even if it's even even if it's like we took that idea that was a great idea Mm -hmm. and we think it fits into the grand scope of things a little different this is how it looks what do you think about it? Do you mind helping mm-hmm. us out with this? Yes. Uh, that that will be you will be the person that they come to because they do keep that in mind yeah, because do. whenever it's time to do something, They're gonna be like, the next question is like, okay, so who are we going to delegate or who right, are we exactly. going to bring in to help ease the load? Because I'm not about to do this, do this by myself. By myself. <laughs> like, exactly. <laughs> not gonna what, happen. What, what we not gonna do? That. <laughs> That's not what we going to. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, so I, I think that's a kind of a a kind of a broad uh, mm-hmm. a generalization of casting vision and accepting the vision and getting that in motion for the years. So I, I think we we keep all of that in mind with vision. And if you're doing any vision casting, these are some some good points to um, to to put into play. And another thing I just thought about, you may need to cast the vision mid year. Mm-hmm. Quarterly or mm-hmm. whatever to keep it in front of people. So if you're 
if you're watching this and it's not the beginning of the year and you're like, what? Recast the vision three, four months out, six months out, you know, how accordingly to how often you need to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, incorporate some of these things. Or no, also, because also you may get new people in your ministry. Right. And if they're new, nine times out of ten, they probably don't know what the vision is unless exactly. somebody literally sat them down and told them, yeah. which probably didn't happen. Exactly. So exactly. We're, we're they need to in. know where the train is going. Right. Exactly. That's, <laughs> like, that's, that's very good. You should probably, for if only that reason alone, you should probably cast vision a few times a year just so the new people will will know, you know, because mm-hmm. it's different. Like, if you got, oh, that's what that's we're doing. What we're here for. Okay. All right. Didn't like, know that. <laughs> Didn't know that. Thanks. I was wondering why we were doing all this. Like, <laughs> so yeah, that's a that's a very good point. Um, and so uh, taking all those things into consideration, um, I think this is this is some stuff that you can use. Mm-hmm. And if you if you know somebody that can use it, or if you can use, it, you have anything else? Um, no, just I mean, oh, I do. Okay. Communicate plainly. Please, yes. please communicate plainly. And I'm saying this as a person who has struggled severely with communication. I know what it's like to not know what to put, how to put it into words. Find an Aaron, Moses, please. Yeah. Because oh, find an Aaron, Moses. Please find an Aaron. Yeah. Because what's going to happen is That's if good. you get up there and you come with pictographs, and charts and stuff, and everybody's just like, "What is he talking that about?" Is, man, that's a good. Oh, that man. is a train. I'm wreck. Moses. <laughs> a lot of the time, I'm Moses. Not like, even like I'm honest yeah. moment. Like, yeah. oh yeah. Go talk to somebody and just see, like, hey, did what I just say make sense? Don't be cooped up in the room, you hermit, and Let just me, be. <laughs> oh, with the with the yarn going everywhere, like. Make sure it makes sense. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you a quick story. <laughs> I was I was speaking in the, the ministry, the bus route ministry. Uh-huh. The, the, it's like the ministry, the more unchurched people. And I was just speaking away, speaking away, and wasn't anybody, no feedback, no nothing. I'm staring in a blank, you know, just kind of, mm-hmm. I'm like, the energy and the, everything I'm getting, I'm like, so I I was like, what's going on? And I heard somebody, somebody in the back, dude, we don't even know what you're talking about. I was like, Okay. <laughs> now I can fix that. Thank you. So I, it was complete communication. Literally. And, and like one of the dudes, he was like, dude, we don't even know what you're talking about. I was like, okay, I can fix that. I can make it where you do know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. And so, and I went on from there and adjust, adjust it. Sometimes that's all we need. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. that's why people aren't getting involved because they don't know what they're getting yeah, involved right. in. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. 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 Uh, so find yourself in Aaron Moses. I'm gonna have to use that. That's a, that's good. I've never heard that before. That's good. Find yourself in Aaron. In Aaron. Find your look at your neighbor and say, find yourself in Aaron. In Aaron. Do it now. <laughs> Do it now. Do it now. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, if you know anybody that that can benefit from this, from the the points that we went over, uh, we do like you to to share. Uh, go check us out on Facebook, YouTube, subscribe, hit that little notification bell. Yep. Bing, bing. This is what bing. I hear everybody else say, so I'm just going to say, hit that notification bell. <laughs> bing, bing. That lets you know when we come out with it's new content. And you'll get it, it fresh, ring. hot off of the press. Yes. So, yes. Um, and you'll it, get a it, nice notification. Nice notification. Hell and it, it helps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it also helps, you know, uh, to go to... Go to um, all of the places, mm-hmm. the podcast places, give us that five star rating. Mm-hmm. The five stars, yes, uh, and um, do all of the things. Uh, we we enjoyed our time with you. Um, looking forward to this year, yes, and to uh, having more. Speaking of casting vision, I'm gonna cast a little vision, not oh. cast vision, not cast vision. But if you are wanting something from this podcast, yes. or needing some kind of something from this podcast. Help us help you. Uh, put in the comments, you know, whatever whatever topics you want to see. If you want to see us throw silly putty at each other, tell us. We might not do it, but probably not. tell us. <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably, <not>. probably ain't <laughs> going to happen. But, but tell us, you know, whatever whatever it be. If, if or it, if you have, like, a difficult situation, shoot us a message or something yeah, like shoot that. A, we may do a yeah, Q&A or something. Yeah, Q&A. <laughs> yeah, if we get enough cues, then we'll answer them, you know. Yes. We'll, 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 we'll answer them. And so, um, and so, uh, Yeah, that, all of that. And we'll check you guys out in a couple of weeks. We'll see y'all. Peace. Peace.